Here in uh, pulling out of Afghanistan, we are chopping up uh, billions and billions of dollars of equipment into little tiny pieces. And at the same time, our government is purchasing military equipment for our allies. Uh, this is a terrible waste of money. Our allies have expressed they want to come pick up the equipment. They're paying for it. We don't have to do anything. We don't have to chop it up. We can allow our allies to have it. This is a shameful waste of taxpayers' money. It is in the billions of dollars. And I personally think that this is a huge waste of money. And I would ask that, uh, that the Congress would consider this as, a, as reasonable, that we, at the same time we're cutting up billions of dollars of military equipment, we turn around in, in this appropriation and buy the same equipment uh, for our allies. We have a situation in which uh, some of the countries which we deal with militarily are restricting uh, the rare earth metals, and particularly China, and they're asking that we build our sensitive equipment in their country in order to acquire these rare earths. I would uh, object to that kind of thinking and that kind of ability for our non-friends in, in terms of military assistance to actually have it and develop our own rare earths here in the United States. It's a major mistake, uh, I think, to, uh, to pursue a policy in which we allow uh, our not friends to have uh, control over our top secret and also over our rare earths. At the ever-expanding uh, territorial claims by uh, China and our allies in the area of Philippines, Japan, and South Korea, I think this uh, bill or this amendment uh, would not violate the rules. All it says is that we shouldn't spend money uh, helping uh, Chinese to expand the territorial claims. I think it's reasonable. And I also think that it's something that we should do. We need to express more concern. The current leadership in the White House has not really done much in terms of foreign policy. This would be an example of, to the rest of the world that Congress can speak up and stand up for our allies in the region, uh, particularly those uh, countries that are surrounding Japan right now where they're having a great difficulty uh, with the ever-expanding and, I would suggest, imperialistic uh, attitude of someone in the uh, country of uh, mainland China.